हेलो स्टूडेंट टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट वन ऑफ द टॉपिक इज बेसिक प्रिंसिपल्स इन्वॉल्व इन डेवलपिंग ए वेबसाइट सो दिस इज द टॉपिक ऑफ फर्स्ट यूनिट ऑफ द सब्जेक्ट वेब डिजाइनिंग एंड द यूनिट यूज इंट्रोडक्शन माई सेल्फ इज डॉक्टर शशांक साहू फ्रॉम कंप्यूटर साइंस एंड इंजीनियरिंग कॉलेज सो लेट्स वी स्टार्ट द basic principles that are involved in developing a website so there are basically four category so when you develop a website it is a different thing like uh, developing a software traditional software so developing a website is has a different principles that we need to understand and these principles are categorized in four category one is we need to look for if you developing a website for which medium you are developing so we are developing for the computer medium so we need to take care accordingly the second thing uh, if you developing a website it should be of unified so that the user can attract and stay in your website and understand your content of the website third one is what is your target user because a website cannot fulfill the requirement of all the users so we have to specify the target user and accordingly we have to design the website fourth category is basically uh, we are developing a website for the computer screen so do you know uh, today the mobile device screen is uh, small as compared to desktop screen so your website should be compatible with the very different types of screens also so in this uh, full lecture i will uh, go with in detail this four category of the basic principles that you are going to develop a website so first one is uh, to develop a website for the computer medium and the uh, one important part for a development of a website for a look and feel so when a website will be open you can you can feel the content of a website and it should good appear and it should attract you so that you can start looking on the website and look for the content of the website so look and feel touch should be available in your website so these are some measures by which you can include the look and feel in your website the one is uh, we must provide the navigation so we have a navigation interface in the website if user want to move a one page to another page so accordingly the link should be provided and user click and will go to the next page then <coughs> user is able to explore the information of the website so the important information should be available easily to the user and it should be in the very simple plain format so user can understand it and proper color and font must be there so user can easily understand and easily read it and then he can feel your website and try to come again and again in your website the third one is uh, if you given a good look and feel of the website basically it is called the personality of the website you know very well a very good uh, website uh, that are running uh, in the first page of uh, google search engine and they have a very unified design so they they just represent if you go for a particular website you can easily find out okay this website is for the Uh, java to learn dot com and this website is for a particular tutorial website. By just looking the color and while just looking the design, you can find out this is the website that we are looking for. So that is called the personality of the website. So look and feel also define the way you are presenting a content in the website. Next, uh, your website should be portable. so your website should work in very different browsers and operating systems this is important because end user is not aware about technical knowledge you are developing the website you should take care for this one so it should work on different browsers operating system and various computer platforms and you need to test it before launching the website whether it is working on different browsers or not you know browser has some limitation some content of the Uh, your website will work on internet explorer and other will not work on uh, google chrome so you your website you want to launch your website in the market that is you have to take care it should work on different type of browsers also 
now certain features like uh, css cascading style sheet that i discuss is not some of the features of css is not interpreted by the browser then you have to identify it and take care so that it can work on all all the browsers of the as well as operating system next is uh, it is necessary to separate websites for different types of browsers so sometime it is possible that uh if you are not able to uh, identify uh, are you are you can see not able to solve it particular css is uh, working in a google chrome but it is not working in internet explorer so it is a uh, better to have a different website for a particular browser so you, you need to identify a browser is accessing your website and it is not compatible for a particular web browser then you redirect your website to a different uh, website which is compatible for a particular browser now check website is different browser browser and website designed for desktop may not suitable for a mobile device that is a very important part your website should be responsive generally when develop the website we will take care about your website should be visible to the desktop so we are not taking care about the mobile devices so it is possible you have a one website which is uh, smoothly uh, running in a desktop as well as also running in a mobile devices so because mobile devices screen is very small so your content should be visible in mobile devices also so you have to look uh, it is working in a different browser also and it is working in different devices also so when it is a portable in different devices and it is a portable for different browsers and it is a portable for different operating systems now low bandwidth so you we all know it uh, the internet connection is not stable uh, for all the users sometime uh, internet connection or uh, bandwidth is very low for a user and uh, sometime the bandwidth is very good for a particular user but your website should work on uh, minimum bandwidth also uh so you have to take care accordingly you have to design the website so that it can easily accessible on the low bandwidth so different internet connections are available uh at the user level user can take the any plan you are not uh, bound a user to take a good plan for a good bandwidth that is depends upon the user okay but is our responsibility is your website uh, if you are going to launch in the market then you must take care your website should work for low bandwidth also so we have to take care some of the important parts we try to avoid the large images complicated animations because it takes very long time to download from server then it will display to your browser so if you remove this uh, images and animations and uh, movies in your website then it will be work in the low bandwidth also if it is required then you can uh, put it there but unnecessary putting the images and animations and many other uh, graphical things in your website may not suitable for a user uh, who is taking a low bandwidth plan next it is also possible that uh, when your image is downloaded and it is uh, uh, it will show a, a type of symbol uh, that it is under the downloading in that time you can display a message to the user so user is not frustrated so you will display an alternate text for an image so image is not able to download properly a text will be displayed to the user so user will be satisfy okay something is going on and it will wait for your website to complete then it will go ahead or you can design an alternate page that uses less graphics so that it can download quickly so it is possible that for low bandwidth you have a different pages and for the good bandwidth you have a different pages so you should be able to identify uh, whether uh, internet connection of a user is of low bandwidth or low speed and it is of high speeds accordingly you can uh, redirect your pages uh, for a particular uh, web pages so that it will work on a speed on on a particular internet connection now <coughs> presentation information should be presented in a clear way this is called the information design means that your presentation and organization of information is a most important factor to determining the success of a website so 
contained i am talking about the content that you are going to display to the user so when you are going to display to the user take care about do not use too many fonts and colors because it will distract the user provide a direct link to the areas in which website that you think that most demanded so you can put a important links at one side so the user can easily find out it use contrasting colors so that text is easy to read so the color side should be in this way so that user can easily understand and read it and on the computer screen user tend to scan rather than read the whole page this is very important generally whenever you are looking for a website so user is scanning the website not reading it so you have to take care about putting the important things on a one area of the website so user can immediately scan it now break large paragraphs into small paragraphs so putting a small paragraph easy for the user because uh, when you are reading from a book it is a good we have a large paragraph we are reading a book, book and our mindset is set but when we are looking the information in a website we are in the hurry we have to look the understand the thing and to look the information very limited time so if you have a big paragraph or you can say large paragraph then it is a difficult for user uh, to understand what are uh, he is searching for it so if you have a small paragraph user can easily understand the content that you want to uh, inform to the user and user can easily understand it now provide suitable headings and uh, user can find out the information quickly break up long text into columns link text with the hyperlinks so these are things we need to follow to present your information clearly in the website now design the whole site so there is a website it consists of multiple pages now very important part is must have a unifying theme meaning is the master page is there and there are many pages are connected with the master pages so all the pages should have a unifying theme that is a uniform themes the color as well as the design of the all the pages should be same the theme should reflect the personality of your organization designing a site for children consider use of visual bright colors and animations so if you design a site for Uh, a set of users so accordingly you have to display the content uh, like an example is mentioned if you are going to design a site for children then we have a good visual effects and good colors so that the children will be attracted in your website and stay there and your uh, website uh, view can be increased next uh, design the whole site uh, related to we have a smooth transition of the website we have a proper hyperlink so that we can move from one page to the other pages as i discuss it should have a unified look among all the pages reinforce identifying elements of the site so uh, and create smooth transitions from one page to the another page which is possible with the help of hyperlinks this is done by repeating colors and fonts for the similar page elements so if you decide a color and font for uh, one page try to have the same thing uh, for the all the pages there so that the uh, user will be comfortable uh, and familiar with your pages and immediately can uh, catch the information whatever he wants generally what we are putting we are putting the body text uh, if you set the body text in a one page uh, its color and uh, its uh, size and its fonts then uh, try to put all the same thing in all the pages also so it will be comfortable uh, for the user uh, 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 next time when the user will come to your website he will be familiar to you and easily can uh, uh, looking for only the content not for uh, going for the design understanding now we can use the grid so present the data grid is another way it is a concise and it is a very clear picture so not necessary you have the data only in the paragraphs you can put the data in the tabular format that is called the grid and user can easily understand so you can organize the pages into rows and columns also 
and you can provide a uniform look to all the pages in the grid also. Do not have a different color for the different grids. So better we have a same type of color in all the grids. Now making a rows and columns in uh, HTML pages, we can use table elements and we can uh, many other ways are also available to provide a grid in HTML pages. Next uh, spaces, white space is a play a very important role in uh, displaying the content of a website. So there is an active white space. So active white space are the blank areas of a page and it is the white space between the text image paragraph. So when we are giving some spaces between the text and images between the paragraph we call as an active white space. So these space define the area of the page. White space that is used deliberately is called the active white space. So suppose if you write everything in a one page then it is a difficult to understand and if you are putting some spaces in a paragraph whenever the context of a paragraph is changed we put a some space. So user can easily understand it. There is also passive white space meaning is that uh, there is a some space which is uh, around the pages or you can say margin of the pages we call as a passive white space. So we can put it also to easily understand uh, the content of a website by user. An example is mentioned, active white space is basically between the paragraph. You can see this is the active white space, this is the content, this one is the content, this is the content and we are putting some white space here. This is the also content, this is also content, we are putting the white space here. So putting the white space between the text and between the images is called the active white space. Now there are some white space here, this is the white space and white spaces is around here. So we call as a passive white space. So we have a passive white space to define the margin of a web page and active white space which is which are between the text images to easily understand the content of a website by the user. Now use of active white space. So lack of uh, active white space create the impression that the page can contain too much information. Information is correct but it is not properly presented because we are not putting the white spaces. So it, it is difficult uh, for a user to understand. Find a page that does not have sufficient active white space. It is a difficulty for the user. Provide navigation links on the same position in all the pages. This provides the uniformity and the ease of the use. So when you are putting the content in the website and in the same content you can provide a link also. Suppose I can't understand a particular word of the text. So I can go on particular link and understand uh, what is uh, the meaning of, a, meaning of a term that I am not able to understand. Next uh, white space can be created by using the line spacing. It can be created by putting the margin space around the para and picture. It can be given heading used to separate the content in small chunks. It can be used to separate the text. It can be used in the images. Next is uh, the website is going to design for uh, category of the users. Uh, what is your target users? This is a very important. Uh, you cannot put a website uh, which uh, will satisfy all the different types of users. So you must define the target users so that your website uh, get the good hits and visits. So you must take care of the content that you are putting uh, by considering the target users in your mind. So like uh, you can ask some questions to yourself when you are going to design the website like why the user has come to your website. Just ask the question. And you will find out the answer. You will find out your target users. What type of information does the user want? Ask yourself and you will find out the answer. So when you are asking to yourself these two questions, then you will find out the target user and type of the content that you are going to display in the website. Is the site for information entertainment? This is again important. You also define the type of the website. Are you providing the information to the user like a tutorial website? 
are you providing the material for the entertainment of for the user so accordingly you design the websites because website designing for the entertainment is a different aspect and website designing for the giving the information to the user we have to look for a different concept next uh, must have the interaction with the user so user able to interact to your website like user can give the review uh, or write a comment in your website and provide the feedback so interaction approach should be available in the website it is not in one direction you are just giving the information not taking the feedback not good for the user think about how the user will interact with the web pages if the pages are collection of a links interaction will be clicking on the content and scrolling so user should be able to uh, click on a hyperlink and go to a particular web pages all the hyperlinks should be available in a uh, specified area and uh, user is able to interact the, uh, with the uh, uh, website with the help of feedback and reviews pointing to graphics and clicking on image to reach the another page design page into separate groups links for so you can make a separate group for a particular task or you can say set of links a collection of links in a one group one area and other subject related links are in a other area so user can easily find out it now uh, putting the content in a particular location is important because uh, uh, user try to predict the exact viewing path user try to find out uh, what is needed in a very less time so he, the user will try to scan your data so you have to take care which data you want to put in which area of a web page so there is a some research is going on for the importance of uh, uh text that will be so on a web page so i am just showing it like a very important data should be retained in the middle area this is the first priority and second important data should be retained on the date top area and uh, the third important area third important content should be retained in in this area in the site and in the footer you can give the information which is of Uh, priority of four, and at the left side you can give the content which is of uh, very less priority. Like we have a list of links, and if you click on a particular link, the content will be displayed. So this is a very important diagram to represent that the way the content should be displayed. So first, content should be displayed on the this main area. Then you can display as per the importance of the uh, data on the second page uh, this is the second area top area then you can display the information on the third area that is side area and fourth one is that is the footer area and fifth one is the list of the links list of uh, or you can say hyperlinks are available uh, that is area is called the uh, least priority uh, user is looking mainly user is looking on the main content next uh, <coughs> user i user basically is not reading the web content your user is basically scan the page and the scanning is from left to right then down to next line this is the approach for example this is the way user is scanning the page start from the left to right then it will go to the down side to the next page then again start from left to right this is the one way the user is scanning your web page so accordingly you will put the content you can put the content in this area which is uh, likely by the user to see again and again and uh, user can easily understand your website and will stay in your website and uh, understand the content now <coughs> we should have a flat Here, key, your data should be in the proper structure way, not too much complex. So it is difficult to understand for the user if your here key is not simple. So if you have a simple here key, so user can understand it. Don't make user navigate through the too many layers. Like we have a one folder, again we have a second folder, again we have a third folder. It is difficult 
for a user to find out the data and user interest will down for a, your website. You must have a simple menu for the navigation. Don't go just write a simple text. User can easily understand. Same navigation menu on all the pages for the uniformity. So if you define a master page and you are using a menu for uh, master page, you follow the same for the, all the pages. And you can have a site map. Site map basically it is a brief information of your web pages that you can make in the XML file also, or you can make uh, a graphical tool. What are the pages and what purpose these pages are there? And you can display the site map in the index page or in your home page. So user can easily understand the number of pages in your uh, website with the help of looking the site map. So it will, it is a very good uh, approach uh, for a standard website to give all the information in a single page. If user want uh, the data from your website, then user will go. Otherwise, uh, user will save to the uh, other website. Next, uh, hyperlinking is an important part. It is a power of a website. Do you know where all the pages are linked in the website only with the help of hyperlink? So, putting the suitable hyperlink in a web page will reflect or you can say uh, understand uh, and attract the user in your website. So, web pages enable the non-linear reading. It is a not linear reading. Do you know it is not like a reading a book one by one pages. User can move from any page from your home page. User should be able to reach to the end of the, your page also. User should be able to back to the first page also. User should be able to the middle page also. So this is an important part. Uh, reading of in a web site is a non-linear. It is not, uh, because of non-linear, we have to look for the hyperlinking accordingly. Now this can be done by providing hyperlinks through text and images. So you can make the image as a hyperlink also. You know, uh, visual effect or you can say symbols are uh, very easily understandable by the user, very easily recognized by the user. So instead of putting the text as a hyperlink, better to have an image as a hyperlink, have a symbol as a hyperlink. User can immediately find out the purpose of the hyperlink and go to the next page. So provide the hyperlinks directly into the text. Uh, you have the content and within the text, within this content, you are putting the hyperlink for a purpose of a world and or you can say exploration of a world. Provide links that allow the user to jump to the top of the page. So it, this, this possibility is there in middle of a website, user want to go to the home page, that link should be always available and bottom of the page and go to the menu from anywhere in the page. So that facility should be available in your website. So you can move to the top page, you can move to the bottom page as well as you are should be able to go to the home page, all type of jumping uh, from any page should be available in your web page. Provide the hypertext table of the content. So it is also possible in the side, uh, uh, left side, you can provide all the hyperlinks and uh, user can just go through this uh, hyperlink and find out the topic which is relevant for him uh, to understand the particular content or information. Now, <coughs> this is again important, how much content is enough? Giving the too much information in the website is not suitable. You just put the information which is needed for the user. Because looking the information in the website generally user want should be understand in a very less time, very limited time period. It is not a book, it is a website. So putting the information which is accurate and clear and very concise way and very summarized way, that information should be go to the website and user can easily find out it. So don't overload the user with too much information on a single page. If there is a, uh, you need to put the information in multiple pages, break it not putting everything on the single page. Provide short paragraphs and links to more information for each topic. Next uh, is uh, design for the screen. So you know uh, printed pages and a screen both are different things. So if you are reading in a printed page in a book, that is a different experience. 
if you reading from the screen is a different screen different experience generally screen uh, type is of uh, landscape and paper type is of portrait so in case of landscape we have a wider area to see it so accordingly your content should be display so paper reflects light but screen passes light from the behind so when you reading from the paper your eyes comfortable you can easily read it but if you read the same thing from the screen so you look for the uh, intensity of the light also whether it is comfortable to your eyes or not so you have to set the color as well as uh, a different background of the web pages so that easily comfortable for the uh, user and user can uh, stick to your content provide enough contrast and page light background and dark font whenever needed avoid light text light background so in the screen do not put uh, the light color for the text it will be difficult for a user to understand and screen has a low resolution than the paper so you have to uh, take care accordingly we have a light background we have a dark uh, uh, text so that a user can easily understand the text and find out your information that you want to convey so that i discuss about uh, today uh, what are the basic principles of uh, developing a website so i cover today okay so i cover today uh, four different categories of uh, basic principles that needed to develop a website uh, like uh, we must have uh, uh, a unified design we should take care about the user we should take care about the screen also and we should take care about the information that is needed to display to the user thank you very much thank you